When you think of the Ningaloo Reef, the thing that comes to mind straight away are the whale sharks. It's such an iconic image of our coral coast and a real bucket list experience for so many people. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I don't really know what to expect because I've spoken to so many people around Exmouth and they say it can be a really emotional experience. So I think this is maybe one of those things that you don't see, but you feel. We're transferring to the Venture 4 boat with Ningaloo Blue, one of only 14 tour operators licensed to take people out from all over the globe keen to savour this unique experience. Ningaloo is the Aboriginal name for land out to sea, a 260 kilometre fringing reef, home to a rich and diverse array of corals and fish. And I'm lucky enough to have marine biologist Danny Robb to show me around her backyard. Danny, this is absolutely incredible, this part of the world, and this is your office. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate up here to be to have a World Heritage listed, you know, Ningaloo Rain Park right on our on doorstep, and, and certainly in our days off, we get to enjoy it. The incredible biodiversity in the area as well. I mean, there's so many species of fish and corals. Yeah, it is insane. Over 200 species of coral, over 500 species of finfish, and loads of other invertebrates and mollusks and shells and all the spectacular stuff. And people come from all over the world to see this marine life, and they of course come to see the whale sharks. Yeah. They keep coming back every year. Why is that? Yeah, it's a really well-known feeding ground for the whale sharks. So the majority of our whale sharks here are juvenile males, about 85%, and they're coming here purely to feed. They're taking advantage of all the food that's in the water at this time of year. It's a really productive reef system. We've got loads of plankton blooms and krill blooms, and the whale sharks are just here to pig out before they then disappear <laughs> wherever they go. I like that idea. I want to go and see them. Come on. Sure, let's go. <laughs> The reef hugs the coastline all the way from Bundigi Reef in the Exmouth Gulf down to Red Bluff north of Carnarvon. Unfortunately, my flippers won't carry me that far, but I wish I could snorkel the whole lot because there's just so much to see. From the long trumpet fish who announces our arrival to a bright red oki who lazily languishes on the ocean floor. The clear, calm, lagoon-like waters inside the reef make for great snorkelling conditions for us passers-by, and they also serve as the perfect habitat for the reef's more permanent residents. We stop to watch a clownfish playfully dart in and out of its anemone home. But I'm happy to keep my distance from the lionfish. Despite its venomous spines, it's strangely elegant with its blazing red and white zebra striping. Oh, wow, Danny, that was incredible. There's so much to see. It is an amazing reef system. It runs for 260 kilometres down this stretch of the Ningaloo coast. And it's so diverse, like beautiful corals, amazing fish life, dolphins, turtles, dugongs, <laughs> rays, you name it. It was seriously stunning. But the one thing that we haven't seen is, of course, the whale shark. And that is coming up later in the show because we're heading out to go and see one.